conservationists. My name is Christy. Welcome to Practical Conservation. So today I want to talk about how we can reduce our waste specifically with what type of soap we are using. So I'm going to focus on the three types of soap that I know of. If you know of any others, please let me know. So the first one is liquid hand soap using the pump and the next one is the refills for the liquid hand soap. I assume you know how this works. If you don't, when you use up all of the liquid soap in this pump bottle, then you refill it with that from the refill bottle. And then lastly is bar soap. And I still have this one in the package. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to remove all of the product inside and weigh just the packaging. This gives you the chance to make an informed decision so you can see easily how much waste each one produces and you can choose which level of waste you are comfortable with your family producing. So when I started weighing these items, I decided to weigh them in grams instead of in ounces for simplicity's sake. I figured it would be easier to do the math and to show the differences between them numerically. So I started off by weighing the bottle of soap with the pump itself. And I found that uh, the soap bottle with the pump came to 35 grams. After that, I did just the real bottle, and the refill bottle came to 66 grams. And then after that, I took the packaging from the bar of soap, and that in and of itself came 8 grams. Math time! did some math for you to figure out just how much packaging waste each product produces and then went on to divide that into how much packaging is required for each soap's use. To calculate how many uses were in each project, I found a study that concluded on average about 0.35 grams of bar soap and 2.35 grams of liquid soap is used each time someone wash their hands. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in reading more on that. I use that information to calculate approximately how many uses are in each container and how much weight in packaging is required per use. So here I found out that liquid soap pumps require about 0.34 grams of packaging per use. Liquid soap refills 0.09 grams of packaging and bar soap 0.03 grams of packaging. Now some of you may be saying, but Christy, I recycle my packaging. Okay, let's remove the recyclable packaging from the equation. That leaves us with the pump itself from the liquid soap pump and the plastic wrapper on the bar of soap that I used as an example. This means that the soap pump bottles use about 0.14 grams of landfill waste per use and the bar soap landfill waste was almost nothing. Keep in mind, plastic wrap is not on all bar soap, so if you don't want to have that, there are brands that wrap the soap only in a paper box or use no packaging at all. The thing that surprised me the most when seeing this math was how big of a difference there was in the packaging required between the soap pumps and the soap refills. Who would have guessed that liquid soap pumps use four times as much packaging as the liquid soap refill containers? This shows that if you use liquid hand soap and you want to reduce the amount of packaging that you consume, switching to refills will greatly reduce that packaging and switching to bar soap will bring that down to almost nothing. Well, I don't know about you, 
but I definitely learned something today. I didn't realize how much packaging, and in turn, how much waste is created by each of the different types of soap. It's funny to think about something as simple as soap in a way of how much waste we produce. So let me know what you think. Does this change the way that you think about the type of soap that you will be buying in the future? Or does it not make a difference still? I also would like to hear your thoughts on if you have any more ideas on other ways that we can reduce the amount of waste and the amount of packaging that we are using in everyday things. Do you have any questions? Do you have any ideas of other things to see? Let me know in the comments below. Let's come up with ideas, let's work together, and let's come up with ways that we can all practice practical conservation.